What's up guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'd like to look at passing state around between components. So in the last video, we built out our to-do app, but we only have one global component. Let's make another component to see how we can communicate between them, specifically parent and child components. Okay, so let's make a new component here. I am gonna do ng generate component. Let's put it in the components folder. Let's call it to do item. Okay, and there it is right there. So I'm just gonna change this selector to just be to do item. And let's take a look at how our component tree looks like. So I have this diagram from when I did my view series and essentially it's the same thing. So we have, initially we only had one component, but now we're going to split it out into a to-do list and a to-do item. So parent and child components. Okay, so let's move everything over from the to-do list component. So everything that has to do with the item. So this whole thing over here, let's move this over. So I'm just going to grab this. Let's just comment it out for now. And let's put it in the to-do item. So let's just paste that in. And I'm going to grab the CSS too. So at least the CSS specific to the item. So all of this stuff here. Uh, so that, that. So yeah, I think up to here. So let me copy that. Just comment it out. And then let's put it in here. I have a hard time deleting code. Uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna need it sometimes, so I usually just comment things out, but uh, I, I usually delete it before I commit. So the uh, repo is clean. Okay, so now in the to-do list, we can just do a to-do item here. And hopefully that should work still. And let's bring out the browser again and see if this works. Okay, we have an error. What's the error? So obviously this is not gonna work yet because the to-do is not being passed in to the to-do item component. And we also got rid of this ng4. So let's put the ng4 back in and save that. So now we wanna pass in the to-do from the parent to the child. So from here into here, we want to pass it in. So if you're used to React or Vue, you would do this via props. So you pass it in from the parent to the child. And I think I have an arrow here. Yeah, so there's my nice arrow. So let's do that in Angular. So in Angular, you would make use of input binding to do this. So again, very similar to props in React or Vue. So to do that, you would do we're going to pass in the to-do and we're going to give it the current to-do to in the ng4 and to accept that let's go back into our to-do item TypeScript and we can accept it like this as a variable so to-do of type to-do but we have to specify that it is an input binding so we would use this input decorator and now let's see if we get anything okay so i think this is not working because if you go into the to do item template uh, i still have the ng4 here and this is defined in the parent so let's get rid of the ng4 there and let's see if that works so there we go. Now we're getting the to do's passed in from the parent into the child and rendering correctly. What else error do I have here? Okay. So it looks like our animations are not working too. Let's just get rid of this for now. Okay. So our to do's do render and we're passing in from the parent to the child, but they no longer work. So if we try to do anything with them, Okay, adding still works. That's because adding is not part of the to-do item, but if we try to do anything within the to-do item, 
for example, checking. It still checks it on the front end, but there's an error here. We can't edit it, so I'm double clicking, we can't edit, we can't delete. That's because all of these methods, so we're calling them in here, in the to-do item component, but they don't live here anymore. They live on the parent component. So for example, the delete to do doesn't exist in here. It exists in here. Uh, so delete to do. So what we want to do is make use of events to let the parent know that something has changed in the child and then act accordingly. So if you look at our diagram, we want to pass an event from our child to our parent and then our parent can act accordingly. So here's the up arrow for events. And then our single source of, source of truth still lives here. And our methods are still going to live in the to-do list component. We just want to pass an event up to let them know to do whatever it is they need to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with the checking of to-dos. So if we go back into to the parent component, which we are now, we're actually here now, uh, let's see what happens when we check to do. So we have, it just calls this done edit method. So from within the to do item, we just want to raise an event and then we can listen in on the parent. So let's do that. So in our to do item, instead of an input decorator, we'll make an output. So output, and let's call it checked item. Let's uh, refer to it as past tense. And we're going to make a new event emitter. And this is what how the event is created. Yeah, this one from core. And output doesn't seem to be imported. So there it is, cool. Okay, so now in our template, let's make another method also called done edit, but all this is going to do is emit the event from the child and then we can listen in on the parent. So let's do that. So let's make a method done edit and it's going to take an A to do and let's try to follow TypeScript here. So it doesn't return anything and all it does is emit this event we created here. So this dot checked item dot emit. And the argument is what we want to pass through. So in this case, we want to pass through the to do. Okay, so now in the, the parent, we just want to listen in for this checked item event. So in here, let me just put this up on its own line, so it's easier. Okay. And all we have to do is listen in on that event like this. So checked item should just call the done edit method, just like down here. And to grab the to do, you just do dollar sign event. And if I did that correctly, checking up items should work again without any errors. Cool, it does. So we're going to want to have events for all of these that happen down here. For, so for example, um, double clicking right here. So let's add them here while we're already in the parent. So double clicked item is going to be edit to do. And I'm going to paste in the rest so you don't have to watch me do it. And okay, so I added the rest of them back. And it's just delegating to the event sorry, the method that was called before. So all we have to do now is define these events in the child. So there are five that I have to define. So let's go back into here and let's add the five of them here. 
So again, I'm just going to paste them in to save some time. Okay, so I added these five new event emitters. And we don't really need these two because they both delegate to the same method, the done edit method. So we'll just uh, comment these out. And we'll just use this, uh, this one over here. And now our template is calling these methods here, and these are emitting the events. So everything should work as before. So let's try this checking, we already checked, double clicking works, let's uh, try to edit it. Okay, so that works. Let's try to uh, cancel out escape. Okay, that works. Let's try to not put anything. Okay, that works. And let's try deleting. That works too. Cool. So there you have it guys. We managed to take a look at passing state around at a basic level with input bindings and events. If you have a small app with just a few components, this is definitely a good option to reach for. In the next video, we'll take a look at having a central store to store all your state and methods associated with them. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh,